All right, guys, I just wanted to break this down. I'm a big boxing fan. It's your boy, Brent C. Uh, I usually don't even cover boxing, but this one here really kind of irritated me because it's like, it's so many casual fans that don't know boxing and how people score boxing. So guys, boxing, when it goes to a decision, it's scored by the rounds, not by the total punches landed, not, not by, that helps big time because it is about punches landed. Uh, it was no knockdowns in this Devin Haney versus Lomachenko fight. It was a great fight. It was a competitive fight. Very close fight. Uh, Devin Haney only won by two rounds. Uh, even if people would say, oh, it was a draw, I'd be okay with that. But um, statistically, Devin Haney did win by two rounds. Um, a seven to five. He won seven rounds uh, on the front end. So by round 10, which means nine rounds had already passed, Lomachenko had only uh, outpointed Devin by two punches in two rounds and uh, uh, two rounds uh, all the way uh, out of nine rounds by two punches. Then Devin Haney had rounds where he outlanded Lomachenko by five punches or more. So what I'm saying, consistently... So what I'm saying, and they had some lockup rounds, like round one was six to six, and I think another round was locked up. So I mean, it is what it is. But, but guys, what I'm saying is, and but Devin Haney was landing the better punches and more body work, and up to that point, up to round ten, Devin Haney was uh, up on the scorecards as far as punches landed. So guys, if there are no knockdowns, which would be a 10-8 round, if if a fighter outlands one fighter that round goes to that fighter. Like, if Devin Haney outlanded Lomachenko, if he landed more punches, that fight, that round goes to Devin Haney. Unless Devin Haney gets dropped, or unless he gets buzzed to where he's, like, all out of it, and the ref says you have to get a standing eight count. You know, whereas, unless it's a flag on Devin Haney, like, for getting hit too hard or dropped, and then, you know, it don't matter about the punches landed then because it's automatically a 10-8 round. If he gets dropped twice, it should be a 10-7 round. But, guys, what I'm saying is it was no nobody got buzzed. Nobody got severely buzzed. Nobody got dropped. So it was nobody getting points deducted. So all this was just judged on strictly points. punches landed, guys. So Lomachenko had more punches landed overall because in round 11, he outlanded Devin Haney by 20 punches to two punches. And in round 10, which is when it started, I think it was uh, five punches to 11. So in round 10, round 12, the last round, Devin Haney came back. He was more accurate with his punches. And Lomachenko only outlanded him by two punches once again. So what I'm saying is, by round eight, which means seven rounds were in the bag, Devin Haney was up on punches landed, scoring, scoring punches, 70 punches to Loma 62. By round 10, Devin Haney was up 92 punches to Lomachenko's uh, 80 punches, which means three-fourths of the fight, Devin Haney was already up on punches landed, landed on the scorecards. Guys, look at the judges' scorecards Lomachenko clearly won rounds 10, round 11, and round 10, 12 could have gone either way. But in my opinion, he won 10, 11, and 12. That does not win the fight. Uh, Lomachenko, Devin Haney won uh, rounds 1, 2. I don't know exactly what rounds, but I know rounds 1 through 9, Devin Haney won 7 out of those clearly, guys. And round 12 could, was debatable. Because Devin Haney's body work was killing Lomachenko. Guys, don't just look at the face punches. Look at the subtle jabs. Look at the body shots Devin Haney was landing. Lomachenko was fighting in spurts. He was just standing there moving around a lot of the times. When he up, when he started punching, yes, he was connecting. But a lot of them punches wasn't connecting. One of them hit him behind the head. Devin Haney hit uh, Lomachenko with a hard left hook and had him on the ropes a little bit. Not too bad, but he looked at him. and You know it caught his attention. He caught him with hard body shots. Look at Lomachenko's face after the fight. You can see Devin was a little knotted up, but it was nowhere near as bad as Loma. He is lighter, I understand that. But, guys, you could tell he was in the fight. Then, look at his body. His ribs, it was all pink. Devin was piecing up with, with them body shots. Listen to the body shots that Devin was hitting him with. They were harder shots. Loma was hitting him with, like, little pity pad shots. 
Loma did an excellent job to be 35, which ain't even old, guys. That's not even old. Even Ali was still kicking ass at 35. Guys, even if you wanted to say it was a 6-6 fight, six rounds to six, guys, Devin Haney is the champion. When you fight the champion, you have to beat the champion's ass. You cannot sit there and barely edge him. But I'm telling you, facts. Devin Haney outlanded uh lomachenko by by the time round round 10 came them championship rounds devin haney was already up on the punches landed and lomachenko had never outlanded devin haney by more than two punches around so every round was close and the punch the uh rounds where devin haney was outlanding lomachenko it was multiple rounds where he clearly outlanded him it wasn't even close by like one or two punches and that last round was very close too. Uh, the judges had it scored 115 to 113. Two of them, Dave Moretti had it scored 116 to 112, which means he had it scored for Lomachenko winning four rounds, Devin winning eight. Eight. I didn't see it that way, but I see how he could have seen it that way. That means he just gave him round 12 because of the accuracy on the body shots. But I'm I'm being modest here. I'm being uh 100 real here. I'm not picking sides Devin Haney clearly won seven of those rounds uh Lomachenko won the last three in my opinion because he outlanded him and then he won uh two rounds up front Devin Haney won all the rest of the rounds guys it's 12 rounds in the fight Devin won seven Loma won five and if you want to swing it with uh Devin winning eight and four I, I can see that too but guys we can't disregard the body shots of Devin Haney. Uh, that's what I'm saying, guys. This is facts. This is proof. You can go Google it. The uh, scorecards, the compu box. Uh, Lomachenko only outlanded Devin in total punches by 14 punches throughout the whole fight. And uh, the whole fight, total fight, end of the fight, he outlanded Devin by 14 punches. And that was only because Devin had a, a two-punch round with with Lomachenko ran it landed uh 20 punches on Devin and Devin only landed two and then round and that was in round 11 and round 10 Devin Haney only landed five to Lomachenko's 11 so guys that those rounds were still only scored 10 nine rounds Lomachenko only got one extra point over Devin because of those rounds he never buzzed him he never dropped him he it wasn't a point deducted so those rounds just tally up for one more point. Just like when Devin was winning his rounds, they only tallied up for one more point. So we can't sit here and say that Devin Haney lost that fight or it was a robbery, guys, because you can't just look at the rounds 10 and 11 and say, ooh, he outlanded Devin real good. So he won the fight. He beat him two rounds and he won the fight. Guys, that's bullshit. He he beat, he clearly won two rounds out of out of out of 12 rounds and then you got these other rounds where Devin Haney clearly outlanded Lomachenko was clearly tearing his ass up with body shots was clearly outpointing him you could look at the compu box numbers guys if you watch the live fight you can see the numbers percentages pop up on the screen not only was Devin outlanding him he was also more accurate guys so Quit going with this narrative that it was a robbery because that's complete bullshit. We have to look at why the judges scored it this way. These are facts. These are not my opinions. These are the hardcore truth numbers. These are the accurate punches that landed. Lomachenko was missing a lot. Devin was missing a lot. But guys, Devin won that fight fair and square.